know, this push from the podium to get Republicans to send more resources to the border, a lot of them say that, you know, they hesitate to throw more money at a problem with the Homeland Security Secretary saying that the border is secure, and some of the people who'd have to vote on that bill also don't have a lot of details on, you know, what's in it and where that money goes. But that, all that aside, um, you know, if you're, if you're saying that Republicans aren't doing the work um, to get this done, and then you have someone like Joe Manchin saying, well, the president has the ability to ask for an extension, he should be asking for an extension, because we're at this point where you've got a deadline and a crisis. Is that within the president's authority to do that? So look, we remain we're, we remained under a court order to lift Title 42. That is Aren't a court order. It, that is, that is a court order that is telling us to lift Title 42, and we're going to comply because we follow the rule of law. But the administration that is, sought to lift that it. That is, but it is a court order. But that is that started by you guys. It was a court order that has been provided to us, and so now we have to comply, and that is we have to comply by December 21st. It is it is a law so that has been don't support lifting Title 42. What I'm saying is that I, what I'm saying that it is a court order that has been presented to us that we are going to comply with. So you've asked a couple of questions, and I'm going to answer them if you give me a second. So in the funding request, the 3.5 billion, I've already listed them out. Happy to do them again. You scale up. We want to scale up air and ground transportation capabilities to move migrants to processing to less crowded border patrol sectors and quickly remove them if they don't have a legal basis to remain. Set up an additional B CBP holding facilities and, sp and speed up the processing time so individuals can have their asylum claims uh, heard faster. Hire more than 300 additional agents to join our force of 23,000 agents working to secure the border. 23,000, that is historic. We've not seen that before and again that is because of the work that this president has done giving historic fundings to the Department of Homeland Security secure additional technologies and equipment like automated processing system law enforcement radios upgraded surveillance and, and inspection technologies and more increased support for border cities and towns like El Paso so the $3.5 billion, there is a plan for it. There is a way forward uh, in getting the resources that the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security need to do the work at the border. And But what we have been hearing from Republicans and seeing from Republicans in Congress is political ploys. They're not assisting. They're not offering any assistance. Many of them are not. And so we are asking right now, if they are serious about this, they are serious about dealing with the challenges, then they would, uh, they would adhere to our funding request. And I want to be really careful. Again, uh, look, you know, Title 42 is going to be lifted. Yes, it will. But there, we are going to move to Title 8. The border is not open. And so I want to be very clear about that because we were doing the smuggler's job if we spread misinformation. And, uh, and so, again, just want to be very clear about that, and so I'm going to move on.